Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, I always have my own bag hi my lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about perfumes that i cannot stop wearing perfumes that i'm so addicted to but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is i have been loving a lot of perfumes lately but these ones i actually cannot stop wearing them starting with guidance by amouage this perfume is pretty new to my collection but i'm so so in love with it i have tested this perfume time and time and time again and i just find it to be so alluring to be so unique there is nothing like this in my collection that's why i love this perfume so much now i've never really been a huge fan of amouage perfumes because it just don't seem to work for me i want to say this is the first one that i've really really obsessed over i do like the one called i think it's love tuberose that perfume is beautiful as well but not enough for me to want to add to my collection so this is my first full bottle amouage and i i honestly feel like i need to get a backup bottle because there was a time where this perfume was sold out i couldn't find it anywhere and it recently came back in stock and i was just like oh my goodness i need this perfume in my collection right now now this has a very very complex note breakdown so i'm going to tell you what the notes are and it opens up with pear, hazelnut, and olibanum. It has osmanthus, rose, saffron, jasmine, sandback, sandalwood, vanilla, akigala wood, ambergris, and labdanum. To me, I get a fruity floral with a lot of complexity. It has a little bit of a gourmand element in the dry down. This perfume is impossible to describe, honestly, but it gives a very, very unique vibe if you are looking for a perfume that honestly doesn't smell like anything you can't really compare this to a lot of perfumes because it literally stand on its own and i feel like it's gone so viral for a reason and i wasn't one of those people that got it initially initially i was just a bit like this is really odd the opening is very challenging i still think the opening is challenging it's not for everyone but if you can give it some time to settle the dry down is mesmerizing the dry down is amazing the dry down is going to completely blow you away i feel like this is so so expensive but it's one of the very few perfumes that i feel like even though it's expensive it is worth every single penny and i love it the longevity on this is a week literally when you spray this perfume you don't stop smell smelling it especially if it goes into your hair or it goes on your jacket it literally smells everywhere this projected throughout my office and i just can't get enough of it i want to wear it every single day it's addictive it's probably right now one of my most complimented perfumes ever. So that is Guidance by Amouage. The next perfume is Yum Pistachio Gelato 33 by Kayali. First of all, let's talk about this frosted bottle. I love this. This just gives me a cartoony vibe. I absolutely adore the color. The notes in here are pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. When I first got this perfume, I wasn't blown away. I didn't dislike it, but I was expecting something a little bit sweeter and I didn't get that. And it's okay now. At first, I was just like, where's the sweetness where is that cotton candy i wasn't really getting it but much later when this perfume sat in my collection for a bit longer i started to get a little bit of the sweetness but to me this is a very light whipped cream type of marshmallowy pistachio scent it definitely smells not smells it feels like a very smooth gelato or gelato is smooth but it gives that super super smooth um gelato vibe i really really enjoyed this so much my husband loves this perfume on me i wear this to bed i want this to work longevity is average the projection is average but try it before you buy because the no breakdown doesn't always embody what the perfume gives i find that with this perfume all i really get is that pistachio gelato i get the marshmallow i don't get the rum as much 
but i get the rest of the notes the hazelnut is very quiet in this perfume it's not as nutty as say the new one by epc which is called pistachio aiku it's not like that one that one is giving you realistic pistachio scent whereas this one is a little bit more subtle definitely likable one of my favorites by keali actually and i definitely recommend it but go and sample before you buy they have a 10 mil a 50 mil and a hundred mil so that is young pistachio gelato 33 next we have a body mist now during this time of the year i tend to kind of sway towards more of body mist and i have this one by lush and this is let the good times roll i know the bottle why i know the bottle is not aesthetically pleasing to the eye but the juice in here is so delightful you guys are going to absolutely love it i love the price of this this is less than 30 pounds i think this is 25 pounds and what this smells like is like a salted caramel popcorn that smells so so amazing honestly if you are looking for a long lasting body spray try lush ignore the packaging if you if you don't really like it because i i've just taken it for what it is now like i just literally just look at the bottle and think it is what it is i love the juice in here and that's all i need so i recently got myself the body lotion which was a limited edition i really hope that it comes back i did put it in my um insta stories that this was why am i dropping everything today i think it's because i moisturized my hands with oil and everything just slipping through my finger let the good time roll <laughs> body lotion smells exactly like the spray together they smell so good you are going to smell amazing all day long if you can get this honestly please please buy it it moisturizes it smells amazing it's giving me some type of a banana element in the body lotion i don't know why i don't know if it's the color that's deceiving me making me think this is like banana kind of scent but i get a little bit of it but what you get mostly is that sweet candied caramel vanilla um it's got like cocoa butter vibes this is so so amazing if you are looking for a long lasting spray please check out lush next we have carolina herrera very 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 good girl this is a bad girl <laughs> this is my favorite from the entire carolina herrera line i find this perfume to be so so sexy the bottle is so beautiful i think somebody said this was tacky on i think it was tiktok people tend to talk trash on tiktok a lot that's why that that platform is like i'm not but i honestly think that the bottle it just it's just sexy like this is a stiletto like nothing screams sexy more than a stiletto does and this perfume is done i'm literally here it's more or less done this is another one that is quite similar to delina by performs the mali but i feel like this is cheaper this is probably more likable and longevity is kind of the same to be honest because actually no Delina is stronger. Delina is a little bit stronger, but this is also really, really strong. This is a designer perfume that smells absolutely incredible, super feminine. It's got some rose, it's got vanilla. It's a fruity floral with a touch of sexiness. And I really, really love it. So that is Very Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. The next perfume is one of my favorite vanilla in the whole entire world. And it is Annie by Nishane. I can't get enough of this look at this guys this is nearly done and this perfume is not cheap this is so expensive but this perfume is a uh, cool spicy um ginger vanilla it's very very spicy in the opening but it's a very cooling type of spice i love the dry down of this you get a ton of vanilla in the dry down to me nishani does not do a bad perfume but this one is my favorite i'm in love i'm not gonna bore you <laughs> with my love for annie but if you've been here for a while you know how much i enjoy the scent profile of this perfume it gets me a lot of compliments it layers really well with lots of perfumes it has a great longevity you don't ever ever need to take a decant with you if you spray down your honey it's a beautiful perfume by the brand honestly i can't speak highly of this perfume enough it is fantastic the next perfume is my Cherosa 62 <laughs> also nearly done this is by sol de janeiro and this perfume is so sweet 
and it's such a man magnet for some reason guys seems to really really like this perfume i get compliments mainly from guys when i wear this perfume now you guys already know so de janeiro um body sprays are so lovely a lot of people love their body sprays and the 62 spray is really nice it lasts long um the femiza oil which is also kind of like the same scent profile smells incredible so if you layer all of those together with the boom boom cream matter of fact let me quickly show you okay so this is the um boom boom cream so i'll start with this and then i moisturize with the firmiza oil which claims to firm up your skin that's a lie it doesn't firm nothing all it does is moisturize and it smells incredible and then i spray down <laughs> with the 62 spray which i've only got a little bit left and then the perfume and you get longevity but if you just kind of shower moisturize and spray this this ain't gonna last you more than three hours like you wouldn't smell it but if you do all of that you definitely will get longevity and it will smell amazing for the whole day but i really really love this perfume i wish they would do like an extract version that will probably last longer has more oil concentration and just give a little bit more but on its own i love this is caramel this is i think it's got pistachio so it's like a salted caramel pistachio scent that just smells so so good it's a gourmand that you can wear all year round so that is cherosa 62 or the parfum or the parfum should be all the toilet but anyhow it's so the generous cherosa 62 next we have devotion by dolce and gabbana i love this uh, lemon pie lemon meringue cake lemon 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 it's so it's a very fresh and gourmand scent it has a little bit of a nuttiness as well which i really really enjoy actually maybe i should make this my scent of the day ah oh, this is so so delicious this is honestly giving me niche quality because there's a lot of perfume that if you spray it that many times you're just gonna choke on it this one doesn't do that because it's so smooth it's well blended smells incredible it's so so long lasting at least on my skin because i've heard one or two people say it doesn't last my question is, you know, how's your routine? Um, how is your moisturization? Like, I don't get it because this perfume, honestly, once you smell it, you just kind of know this lasts. It just has a lasting thing about it. And in the dry down, you get so much vanilla and the lemon remains. Ah, I'm just like, this is a wow. This is a fantastic release by Dolce & Gabbana. The bottle is absolutely insane. I am truly in love with Devotion by Dolce & Gabbana. Next on my list is Nebras by Latafa. This perfume, I'm sure you guys are really sick of me talking about it, but I can't get enough. I wear this perfume to bed every single day. I already have a backup because this is the, like if I could show you my dent, this is definitely almost done. Now this gives me a, like it opens up with berries. It's got very fruity, sweet scent. It's got cacao. It's got a ton of vanilla. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Billie Eilish perfume, but I honestly prefer this. I think it smells so much better. It's got more character. It has better longevity. It's just a lot more well-rounded, in my opinion, than the Billie Eilish perfume. I prefer the bottle. Mm, nah. The Billie Eilish bottle is giving. I can't even lie. That looks like a little masterpiece over there, but this is also giving. This is a very, very heavy bottle. I feel like you've gotten a lot of quality quality for the price of this perfume i am obsessed the next perfume on my list is rude smoking by vdk this perfume is sweet this gives me a cherry cola vibe with a lot a lot of cherries this perfume i'll describe as a fruity gourmand it literally gives me ice cream vibe it gives me cherry vibes it gives me vanilla vibes it reminds me of some kind of dessert from my childhood i cannot remember but it gives me that desserty vibe as well. This is amazing. BDK, my favorite from your house. This is literally a perfume I will never ever live without. I will always repurchase this perfume. As long as it keeps smelling like this and they don't reformulate it, I will always repurchase Rich Smoking. I think it's phenomenal. I think it's one of the best cherry perfumes out there. And last but not least is Impressa by Pen Halligans. I... <laughs> The proof is in the dent. I can just end this video now because you guys can see 
i can't get enough of this perfume i wear this perfume almost daily the moment that spring hit i literally just go and reach for my impressor you can wear this all year round it's not a spring summer scent only but because it's so fresh it's so vibrant it's a little bit green this is not a sweet perfume it kind of smells very similar to coco mademoiselle intense um also coco mademoiselle but i feel like this is way better this is way more likable the same profile again are very similar but there's something extra special about impressa it's a little bit green like i said it's got vanilla this has so so many notes but what i get is a green aromatic vanilla smelling scent that is just fresh all day you're gonna be fresh all day long longevity is fantastic in this perfume i feel like you can get the air mist you can get the body oil if they still have it because i know this sells out very very quickly this is one of the most popular perfumes by penhaligons like literally when you say penhaligons the one of the first few perfumes that comes to mind is impressa it is absolutely beautiful so my lovelies that is it for today's video those are the perfumes that i'm so so addicted to that i can't stop wearing i would never stop wearing this perfume i will never stop repurchasing these perfumes i think they are fantastic i urge you to check them out i've linked what i can link i'll link it below please comment down any video ideas that you have anything you want me to talk about next any like just comment it all down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye